So hello YouTube, Eric Lee here. I uh, happen to be in Dublin. Um, I'm here for a job interview later today. We'll see how that turns out. And um, I'm on Nassau Street and I happen to run across this. any video in here but I'll, I'll at least have a look around. Inside the Peterson of Dublin shop, wall of pipes. Scores of pipes. Church wardens. Straight grain, bulldogs. Shelves up here. Some of some stains on it. And more back here. And more. Must be some higher end pipes here. Oh, there's the Dracula pipes. The ones up here are amazing. Sorry for the glare. Let's go down there. But I went downstairs and there's a uh, little cigar lounge. I, I don't think you can probably smoke down here. Um, and here's their walk-in humidor. A lot of Peterson's own cigars and some Cubans, some Cohibas, Romeo Julieta, Monte Cristo over there. Cuban humidified. Oh, and one really cool thing, as soon as I uh, bought the Aaron Moore plug and did that video in the previous clip. Um, had a chat with the uh, guy behind the counter, very cool dude, Manly Smokes 1792 flick. And um, and then right after that, a uh, uh, um, slightly older man came in and bought some more um, Aaron Moore plug as well. So, seems to be a, a good blend. So, I'll probably have some more footage um, from my trip in Dublin. I'm only here for a day. And, Okay, so here's Trinity and buses. And so this is just a, I don't know, like a block away from the Peterson shop. And as I was walking down here, I don't know if you can see it. Where is it? There it is. James Fox. It's another uh, cigar pipe whatever store to end with you. Check it out if it'll let me in. James Fox. And there's a whole lot of uh, whiskey, spirits, cigars, pipes, and some pipe tobacco in here. Um, they have some Peterson uh, and a bunch of others as well, so I'll just give you a quick look around. Some of the amber stem ones.
think these are Butch Shokan pipes, BC, and stem. Some more Butch Shokan as a calabash. Very nice pipes. Knives. We've got a bunch of Petersons here. Cigars. And they have some Petersons, Dunhill, and some of their own blends here. And they have them in the jars there to weigh them out. They have a few more. I haven't heard of this one. Light here. Big Ben pipes. It's real hard to see these, but these are James Fox branded. Peterson's. So here's the uh, windows display of James Fox. They've been here for about 130 years. As you can tell, they're catering a bit more to the cigar whiskey person. Um, obviously they have some hanging pipes here. I don't know if you can see these. It's an interesting store. Hey. Looks like my brother's pipe cleaner holder. But it's probably a cigar case. It was just at the Peterson of Dublin and James Fox shops. Smoking some Pfeiffenhuber. Oh, you know what I noticed on this thing right here? I think that's Socrates. Let's take a look. his snub nose. It could be wrong, I think that's him. Um, so like in Canada where it's, the signs are in English and French, here the signs are in English and Gaelic. This place is just gorgeous.
back for more. All right, so this is the very busy O'Connell Street. As you can see behind me, there's some, uh, I'll do some zoom ins, but there's some statues, there's this big spike. It goes way up in the air. Very busy street. There it is. Focus. Now what's interesting about this location Very busy intersection. What's interesting about this is if you look up here, you see that? That's the old Cap and Peterson store. It's something else now, as you can see. But because it's a listed building, they have to leave that up there. So that's where the Peterson store used to be, is right at the beginning, the top of this street here, which goes way down. Bit of history there. I asked the guys at the Peterson store about that, and they said, yeah, it used to be here. Okay, so this place right here, the Grand Central Bar, I don't know the precise history of this place, I'll have to look it up later, but there actually is a bit of history, uh, at least personal history. I was here uh, four years ago uh, with a couple of my supervisors, and um, uh, on our last morning here we had some time to kill, and we were just walking by and everybody was dressed up in um, sort of like straw hats and bicycle, and were had bicycles with them, and apparently it was James Joyce. Dubliner's Day or something. We walk in this place and they're like, come in, come in, and everybody's dressed up and uh, well, it's about 10 in the morning and they start giving us free Guinness. So that was a bit of an interesting morning. We were, we were fine. I mean, there's enough calories in that. It sort of counted as breakfast. But uh, yeah, just a bit of history of this place, at least for me. Here's the big spike on O'Connell Street. Just goes up and up and up. Oi. Uh. This is the direction I just came. Should I get a burrito in Dublin? Hmm. There's a James Joyce statue. I don't know who that is. Next to it. There's the Millennium Spire, is what it's called. <laughs> I'm at a pub in Dublin, at the uh, rooftop lounge area, listening to some, I don't know, radio stuff. But, of course, got myself a Guinness, something called Parnell Stew. Got some the Aaron Moore plug here, but of course I can't have any of it unless I decide to use the cutlery that they have, because I obviously did not bring any knife with me because I can't travel with such things on the plane. However, I did bring backup, so I'll be having that for my dessert. Cheers, everybody. Very good. All right, more later. After the meal, <clears throat> just doing some revising for my interview. Smoking some HH Old Dark Fired. Um, the two videos that I had of the uh, Petersons of Dublin and uh, James Hawk, of course, I asked permission from both the uh, I don't know store managers, clerks before I did so. Neither of them wanted to be in the video. The guy from James Fox doesn't smoke anything, but the uh, two guys that work at Peterson, or they're all pipe smokers, and the one guy in particular I talked to mainly smokes, or said primarily smokes, uh, Samuel Gawith 1792 plate, which is interesting. That stuff's good, it's very strong though. Um, 
stronger or stronger than most plugs I've had. Of course, I didn't bring a tamper. So I run you in. Thank you.